said. Tap the fuck in. Okay. Hello, Aquarius. Welcome. Let's get into your messages. This week, we're going to do a Celtic cross. But first, let's see what the situations are in your life. Flip and switch the masculine and feminine energies. Be sure to only take what resonates just for toxicity, unhealthy behaviors, and people. Someone could be needing to clear house, triggers, trauma, drama from the past. Let's see. For Aquarius, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, what are the messages here? Roller coaster, highest high, adrenaline rush. Someone still trying to ride the ride even though it's a little toxic, a little wavy and bumpy. Someone trying to make a situation work because it's exciting. So when it's exciting, they actually enjoy being there. But when things are low, I still feel like they try to make it work because they're used to the excitement that it once upheld or that exist we got twin flame interlude pause timing factor you're on a break your things are things are up and down in and out hot and cold with a twin flame dynamic for some of you they could have ghosted you or things are just put on hold due to them having a lot of things that they need to work through in their lives what else for aquarius not everyone is dealing with a twin flame family dynamic here with family blood ties in a circle what else projected future days weeks months someone's coming towards you you may realize what you want out of family pop-up spontaneous unexpected surprise visit projected here someone does want to come towards you possibly blend a family with you or they're taking a break to work through their family situations or issues yeah desire less sexual chemistry some of you this person puts you on hold because uh it was getting a little steamy with high as high and that sexual chemistry or someone needs to figure out what it is that they want as well and they will here in the projected uh future days weeks months let's see TikTok deadline time running out actually slipped out on them uh cricket silence non-action not communicating to you for a lot of you they have tunnel vision though they're focused on something present now living in a moment pink flowers only thing highlighted here for Aquarius interview talk conversation get on the same page because right now y'all not all right this could be you as well going through these things putting something on hold until you figure out what it is that you want for Aquarius three of cups definitely could be a third party or someone wants to reconcile with you but they're married lots of disappointment for the five of cups someone trying to figure out what it is that they want or they invested somewhere where they actually didn't get what they want out of it. Lots of secrets and deception with the moon. Celtic cross spread. Or Aquarius. Angel spirit guides, ancestors. Celtic cross. Or Aquarius. Strength card. Leo energy. Your opposite. So this could definitely be a twin for a lot of you. Needing to go within resilience, bravery to actually get something going. They could be holding back while they figure something out. Or this could be you. Someone could have been cocky about the way that they went about this situation. Egotistical or a sense of pride. Doing something because they feel like it's the just thing, the right thing to do. Especially if there are uh, blood ties here. With the Leo lion at the bottom of the day. Part of the matter. Nine of swords. Guilt shame overthinking it can't sleep at night some of you spiritual warfare nightmares can't sleep headaches okay this could also be uh them feeling shameful or paranoid about something that has transpired here possibly even losing you they don't know which way to go about a situation or they're awakening to how they treated you and they feel horrible challenge of this nine of swords three of pentacles coming together working together teamwork or them choosing someone over you or putting you in a third party this could also speak of a i'm going to add a definition because this three of pentacles has begun to look like a church to me religious factors is stressing someone out they could have a certain belief system here yeah but um the challenge is coming together and working through this as, as a team, which is why they're stressing. They're feeling guilty alone. That's why I need to talk to you. Conversation, get on the same page. This is coming together, a collaboration, because they feel horrible about what they did. For some of you, they were married. 
they were uh, in a connection that was a bit tainted that they needed to end for some of you they were obsessed with you and put you in a third party let's see what happened in the past six of wands you thought or they portrayed that something was going to be successful it was going to work out it was going to be a victorious endeavor okay someone was getting a lot of praise and recognition someone was in the spotlight they were getting a, um they were getting held on a pedestal this could have been a fact that rather they were intimidated by this or not Okay, uh, you said that you wanted something to work out or they did with you and it definitely could have failed. A, a failure to launch type energy. I have to read the card both upright and reverse. So, especially when I see things that are creating some kind of um, toxicity, destruction or disagreements. So, they could have uh, painted a picture that everything was going to work out. You thought it was or it was going well. Roller coaster, high is high. It was high back then where well, they chose to go in another direction that they thought would bring them more respect praise recognition boost their ego someone was going to hold them on a pedestal okay your mind seven of pentacles what have i invested in i've been nothing but patient with this person seeking longevity you thought it was longevity you thought that it was worthwhile you were waiting for something to grow out of the situation or you want something of such you want something to grow. You want to plant your feet. You want things to actually work out with this person. Or you want someone who's going to equally invest in you as you do to, to, uh, with them. Or some of you are flat out thinking about just waiting on this person. You're waiting to see what they're going to do next. You're being very patient. You're practicing patience. Okay. Some of you, you're trying to think about what do you want. Because he's in a thinking position. He's having a look over all right in the future temperance things will be balanced divine intervention sagittarius energy things being worked out one foot on land one foot on water so you could find out that someone was in between worlds where they felt something with somebody and where they had stability and uh some kind of family ties too here in the 3d they could have had a telepathic connection with you for the twins and they kind of lived in a whole nother fantasy world with you it could have actually existed here in the 3d where they involved themselves with you when they felt like it but they also had something going on behind the scenes but in the future this speaks of a uh, divine intervention lots of patience you're patient now you're going to be <laughs> faced with the same patience in the future okay and that's going to require a lot of strength with this leo lion at the bottom of the day someone needs to learn how to express their emotions because there's an impasse right now with the two of swords all right. Hmm. Unconscious, unspoken, death card, Scorpio energy. Something is ending, something is transforming. So in the past, you thought something was going to be successful. You seen the potential. Things will be uh things that you thought was going to work out will be brought into alignment here in the future. I'm also going to make sure with the outcome if they collaborate. But um I feel like with this scorpionic energy here with the death card, things are on hold because this person is growing. Pause, interlude, timing factor. That's patience too. They're evolving internally. They're figuring out what it is that they want. Your view of the situation? High priestess. You feel like this person is secretive. They're holding back. Okay. You feel like uh, someone could have also treated you as a mistress, a secret, a secret lover. You feel like they're holding things from you that could also bring you a lot of clarity and intel. Michael Jackson just got real loud. <sighs> Butterflies inside. So this is all with the high priestess internal matters. Pisces energy. I feel like um, you feel that there's a, a spiritual connection here with this person. There's an angel there with temperance. But um, a lot of you have suppressed a lot about how you feel because you're waiting on some form of a leadership from this person. Some of you could be pregnant for the women or you're thinking about whether or not they secretively gotten someone pregnant due to their misdeeds or if they're sharing a child with somebody. Multiple scenarios. This could also be a situation of you feel like... Uh, your intuition is guiding you to do something different, be somewhere different. Or you're just letting your intuition guide you and you're being patient, which is a which is a great place to be. Hmm. 
Hmm. A lot of subconscious mind here. In the environment, seven of cups. Yeah, a lot of subconscious mind. Head in the clouds. Fantasies. Possibly even overthinking a situation. Or they treated you as an option. Or you have choices to make. You have many choices or many options to make. <clears throat> or to choose from. Which is why there's some secretive energy going on here. Somebody definitely could have had a mistress. Well, there's a mystery to, to what you will choose. Or your intuition is guiding you on which way to go about it. But this is the most important card for me in this Celtic Cross spread. It should be the heart of the matter. But it lets me know what's going on right now. Someone has a choice to make. They could be painting illusions that they need to definitely bring to a close here. Rather for themselves or for you or the both of you. Kind of like selling you false dreams. But there's a lot of dream state activity here as well. Seven of Cups is dreams. High Priestess is subconscious mind, which could also be dreams. This person is in between realms. In between realms here, in between realms here. This is a very powerful connection with this Twin Flame card. Dream state. Telepathic. Just very deep. But, um... The Seven of Cups is coming off as confusion for me. Okay. You, someone could be confused about what to do. So they took a break. Or y'all are not speaking or are not on the best of terms. Hopes and fears. Empress. For the men, you're hoping for your divine counterpart. For the masculine energies, you're hoping for your divine feminine. Someone could be pregnant. The Empress represents a mother. Fertility. You could hope to come into union with your person, male or female. Let's just say that. You could hope that uh, you're able to start something new, build a family with this person, family, blood, ties, inner circle. So when you fear that they're married, they're going to remain in partnership with their wife or husband, their spouse. Some of you are hoping to be able to manifest, to create something new. You fear that your creations, your manifestations, things that you planted seeds in are not harvesting properly. They're rotten. Hopes and fears, Empress, Taurus, and Libra energy. But it could be anybody. You're hoping to be able to love on your love, love on yourself, receive love back from this person. You're hoping the challenge is a collaboration, coming together, working together. But some of your religious factors are a factor here. What's the outcome? Two of Wands, plenty. Baby, I've been making plans for you. Uh, where am I going? Who am I choosing? And where am I going there with? And which way will I take to get there to explore the potential? Okay. So someone has an option. Options with an S for some of you. And they're deciding who to choose. Period. Mm-hmm. What's the two of wands for Aquarius? Eight of Swords, freeing themselves, becoming unrestricted. They sabotage something. They have to decide to go in another direction or fix it with you, making the proper plan so things do not get derailed, held up, held back. They got to free themselves, though. For some of you that are under spiritual entrapment, that will be broken and released as well because Two of Wands is moving forward, planning to go in another direction taking action air sign energy could be you or your person towards you queen of pentacles could definitely be a lot about self-care self-love homework life balance or choosing a spouse for the men you got to open up and be more emotionally available for the men but uh one more for this two of wands and eight of swords specifically and your spirit guys ancestors Opening up, being more emotionally available and coming towards you with an offer. But first, they have to free themselves. Most definitely. And this is a lot of telepathy. Somebody is telepathically communicating with you, but that they're making plans for you. There's a lot of conflict going on. A lot of it is mental, though. They're in their own way. They're in their head. But this person, the way that the two of you get through this is to free yourselves and to open up to be more emotionally available. Rather, you're the one on a receiving end or giving end. The person who's restricting this, Eight of Swords, has to open up and take action. Not of Swords that we saw with the Two of Wands. 
And this is how the two of you get through this. If they need to close something out or they, things are held up, pent up, delayed or whatever, they need to do that. This is the only way that this is going to move forward and be harmonized with the temperance and brought into alignment. But this is their plan to open up. It's just a matter of patience, 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 pause, interlude, timing factor. This is your read. Until next time. Peace.